Because you see, I'm still ending review the Bella Legwick Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Aisha's Revenge. So this is the box itself right here and as you can see this is set 10745 comes with 337 pieces and it is recommended for just 6 and up and comes with creamy fix which are Star Lord, Yondu and also Aisha. Um, so the box art here, it looks pretty cool. It looks uh, very similar to the original box, but it's a little bit different. They have to change it a little bit to avoid copyright. Uh, and the same goes for the art. They didn't copy the art. They just used their own with their own different pieces and stuff. And yeah, that's uh, just that. And this is the top. I'm surprised that there is no handle, but yeah, you have the actual size of Star Lord. This is the side right here. This is the other side, which uh, shows you the parts list. So yeah, there's no parts list uh, in the instructions. And this is the bottom. And finally, this is the back. Um, it shows you all of the features, a lot of features. And yeah, the art here, they are all uh, made by Bella. So it's kind of original, I guess. but. Yeah, you yeah, have uh, the Guardians of Galaxy art at the corner, Supreme Hero, and Building Blocks uh, series. So yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the box. So they did not include any cray, which is surprising, but um, yeah, this is the instructions, and um, there's the front, this is the first page of the build, you have the main figures, you have the grown spaceship, and this is the final page of the build and this is the back it shows you all of the sets that's uh, from the same line so you have the mighty micro sets you have the marvel superhero sets you have a wonder woman set you have uh the guardians of the galaxy and the spider-man homecoming sets and at the bottom you have the thor ragnarok sets um so it's definitely great that uh bella make uh sets that other brands like Li Pin or Shingon uh, don't make. Um, yeah, that's one of the good things about Bella. But um, their quality is not that good. But yeah, aside from that, that's um, pretty much it for the instructions. So these are the extra pieces right here. Um, there are not much, but you just have this extra spring loaded missile. You have uh, two of these studs uh, for the stud shooter, and you have this red stud. Um, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the extra pieces. So the first main figure right here is Star Lord. So he is armed with two of his pistols, which is a very nice looking mode. He does also have a uh, jetpack uh, attachment piece, which is just this binocular piece, and. Yeah, um, so for his hairpiece here, as you can see, it's obviously wrong. It is supposed to be the Superman hairpiece in this color. It's unfortunate that uh, Bella didn't bother to make the hairpiece. Um, yeah, it does suck. But under there, you can see you got his face print with this kind of smiling face with the beard and stuff. And for his torso print, you have the jacket detailing with some brown detailing right there. You have the belt, you have the undershirt. And at the back, if you remove this uh, jetpack piece, you have the back torso print. And you also have the alternate expression, which is this angry expression. And yeah, for the back torso print, you have uh, some black linings, you have the brown color part. And yeah, uh, looks cool. But aside from that, that's um, pretty much it for Star Lord. And the second figure right here is Yondu. So he comes with his uh, arrow here, which is a very nice looking piece in gold. And uh, on the top of his head, he does have this mohawk, which is a wrong piece. Um, yeah, his mohawk is supposed to be much more smoother. And yeah, it's a different mode. Uh, and a lot of brands uh, didn't make the mohawk mode for Yondu. So, yeah, it does kind of suck, but yeah, I guess this mohawk kind of fits, but it just looks a bit weird. But uh, for his face print here, you have this smiling face, and yeah, uh, for his torso print, you have the Ravager outfit with the jacket. You got the Ravager logo, you have the this undershirt with uh, some buttons, you have the belt, you have the strap, and does have some very nice leg printing, and this is the back torso printing. Very similar to uh, Star Lord's uh, back torso print, and 
yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for Yondu. Last but not least, this is Aisha. So she comes with this remote control here, which has uh, the stud on it, and you have this lever as well. So yeah, it's a very simple build, but yeah, for the figure itself, you have her hairpiece, which is obviously the wrong mold, and yeah, they skipped out on that one too, so that sucks, but yeah, it looks uh, really weird, but for her face print, you have this calm expression with the gold face and the big eyes, and for her alternate expression, you have this angry expression, and for her uh, torso print, you have the blue jumpsuit with all of the gold linings and stuff, and you have the leg print thing, and yeah, it looks really cool. I like, I like the look of her jumpsuit. And at the back, you have more of the gold highlights and detailings, and yeah. Aside from that, that's pretty much it for Aisha. So these are all of the builds uh, for this set, so let's start with the terrain build. So this is the terrain build itself right here, and as you can see, it is very rocky. It has two colors, you have bright red and dark red. This terrain here has a plate feature, which uh, involves uh, pushing down on this button, and yeah, part of the terrain will just fly off. and. Yeah, uh, what they intend you to do is uh, you put a figure on the terrain or maybe here. Um, yeah, they they want you to put on Aisha and you push on this uh, button and yeah, she'll kind of fly away. But if you put her here, you fly further and higher. So yeah, um, this is the back. This is the Technic piece and this is the bottom. So yeah. Aside from that, that's um, pretty much it for the terrain build. So the second build right here is the drone spaceship. So let's start with the front. So the front you have this cockpit section right here uh, with these uh, translucent blue elements. And yeah, here you have this gold dish piece, which uh, looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's a very nice looking piece. And yeah, the bottom does have a uh, some pieces which yeah I guess it's uh, definitely great and yeah at the side you have uh, this turret top thing which is a stud shooter and it's uh, connected to this dish piece and you can turn it uh, 360 degrees but it falls off pretty easily and yeah uh, it does kind of fire it just pops out so yeah the other one it's a little bit better yeah, as you can see, the left stud shooter fires a little bit better. And yeah, so this is the back. You have uh, four clusters. Um, so you have these two big ones, which, um, yeah, you have these dish pieces uh, in translucent purple, which looks nice. And you can kind of adjust them to, you know, change the direction of the crust. And you have this middle one right here, which doesn't have any pieces on it and yeah these uh, smaller ones uh, they are just studs and yeah you can move them around as well and here you have these arm stuff thing yeah they're connected to a ball joint and I'm not sure if they are arms or wings but yeah I guess they are there to look cool and yeah you can kind of pose them if you want to but yeah uh, they are connected to a ball joint so that's uh, just that. But um, aside from that, that's um, pretty much it for the grown spaceship. So the main build of the set here is Yondu's laser drill ship. Um, so yeah, the ship itself here, it's uh, actually pretty big. Um, it's very blocky and yeah, it doesn't look blocky, but it feels very blocky. And yeah, it's a little bit heavy. So yeah, uh, let's start with the front. So the front, you have this bubble canopy piece, uh, which yeah, does look pretty good. Um, but unfortunately though, you can't uh, pull this down because it's kind of stuck in there and you need to access the cockpit in a different way, which I'll get into that later. Uh, but yeah, so at the bottom here, you have the laser grill stuff. You have this transparent piece, which does look pretty good. You have this cylinder piece and you have this modified stud 
piece, I guess. And yeah, at the side you have this thicker piece, which does look pretty good. And yeah, it's on both sides, and it looks really nice. And at the bottom you have the spring-loaded missile, which you can uh, activate by pushing this, and yeah, it fires uh, just fine. But you do have to be careful with this because it fires off very easily. So yeah, even if you accidentally touch this. It'll, it'll fire so yeah that's uh, just that so at the side of the bottom you have uh, these crusters with these translucent blue dish pieces and you can adjust all these crusters individually so that's definitely great and yeah so here you have a uh, panel piece which is printed and it does have a matte feeling to it and yeah you do have some design down here you have the Ravager logo you have the Tavon logo and I will show you what's inside uh, later but yeah so the top here you have uh, some battle damage you have this Ravager logo and you have some mud I guess and you have this not sure what this is supposed to be but yeah the other side you have this kind of broken up part that's fixed up and you have this uh, scratch right here and yeah the other panel piece is also the same so if you open the panel piece uh, inside you have uh, a fire extinguisher and also a wrench um, yeah there's just two clips in here and it's connected by this so that's that there is nothing really too interesting in here and on the other side you have a storage compartment which yeah in there you have a Analex battery, so yeah, there's nothing else in there, uh, but you can put in Yanu's arrow if you want to So that's definitely great and you can kind of close it up and Yeah, you can close this up as well and at the back you have uh, these back crusters you have uh, these smaller ones and you have these big ones and you have uh, these blue studs and yeah nothing else too interesting so how you open up the cockpit is by pulling this uh, kind of handle here um, you just pull down this and the cockpit should open and yeah inside you have this kind of red cushion tough thing and yeah Yandu uh, he can sit in there very comfortably and yeah he looks really nice in there and you can just push this and yeah uh, the entire mechanism here works just fine it does feel a little bit hard to close when, when you're trying to close but yeah uh, most of the time it works uh, just fine so yeah and this is the bottom and yeah aside from that uh, that's pretty much it for the laser grill ship so overall conclusion of this set here so how do i think of it well for the figures themselves i think the printing for the figures they are great but it's just that uh the molding for them they just suck um they skipped out on all three of the figures uh, hair molding and yeah, uh, they skipped out on Yondu's uh, mohawk, and they skipped out on the Superman hairpiece mode. And yeah, that that's very unfortunate. And they also skipped out on Aisha's uh, hairpiece. So yeah, and also they skipped out on entire figure, which is Baby Groot. Um, yeah, it does suck that they didn't include uh, Baby Groot in the set. So you have to get the figures separately if you want the perfect figures. So yeah, if you want to get a set, just get them for the builds. Don't get this set for the figures. Uh, get them from other brands like Deku or Zin. Or whatever but yeah uh, for the bills themselves I think they work just fine um, yeah these two they are great and for the laser grill itself uh, the spring loader shooter it works really well um, you just push down on this and yeah it fires very nicely and very hard and yeah uh, for the cockpit mechanism um, it does work it's not very consistent sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so if you want it to work smoothly you should replace the pieces in, some of the pieces inside with offshore lego pieces so yeah i think the builds they are fine um so yeah if, like i said if you want to get a set just get the set for the builds don't get the set for the figures
and yeah and I believe Bella is the only brand that made the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 sets um, yeah there could be other brands I could be wrong but I believe Bella is the only brand or the, the only good brand that made this set so it's either Bella or Lego the original set is very expensive so you should probably get the Bella version and if you want the perfect figures uh, just get the DQ or the Zim version so yeah so if you're gonna buy the set here I'll put a buy link to it down in the description box below along from my social media pages down in the description so if you like my channel make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here so that's it for the video thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon